Yeah, this guy walked up right behind me and just tried to get straight to the chest. Like, I was <laughs> like, what are you doing? I, he didn't realize I had a gun already. I shot him like 20 times. Look, I know I give Drake a lot of hate, but that is mainly out of jealousy. Let's face it, he's either the most talented man that hip hop has ever seen, or he's got his hands on the almanac like some kind of auto-tune Biff Tannen. And I'll also admit that I'm not the biggest Fortnite player. I prefer sex with women. And for the longest time in hip hop, ninja was just the word that lame white guys would rap when songs say the N-word. But over the last few years, an American video gamer going by the name of Ninja had built up an enormous following on the Amazon-owned gaming streaming service Twitch. He's been gaming professionally since 2009 9, starting out specializing in Halo 3, and over the years has cycled through a number of games including Player Unknown's Battleground, aka PUBG. Eventually, Ninja would start streaming himself playing Fortnite regularly, and when Fortnite blew up and became the biggest game in the scene, so did he. Look, I know what you're thinking. How can you possibly make a living sitting around playing video games in the comfort of your own pants? But it's really true, you can, and around this time it's rumored that Ninja's streaming was pulling him in hundreds of grams a month. And it's rumored that his recent high profile switch over to Microsoft's new streaming service Mixer may have netted him anywhere from six to eight million dollars a year for the next three years. But in March 2018, Ninja was understandably gassed when he found out that Drake followed him on Instagram. Champagne puppy. Just think of the amount of 18 year old college freshman girls that have had that same feeling over the years. Yes, Drizzy Drake meets Ninja was the perfect recipe for a clout souffle. It's like King of the Nerds meets King of I Shagged Your Bird. And after that following, it didn't take long for the two to link up on Ninja's very popular and lucrative stream. So Ninja and Drake linked up on March the 15th to play a few games together back to back. Essentially, this was the month after the song God's Plan had come out. So Drake was pretty much on a press run trying to promote that song. The name of the track was shouted out an irritating number of times. And Towards the end of the game, Ninja brought up the music video for God's Plan, with all the obligation of Joe Rogan interviewing somebody that he doesn't really know, but who paid to be on the podcast. My entire chat is just saying it's God's Plan. That guy just died of the storm, don't worry about it. So I have to talk about it, man. That fucking video, dude. Like that music video, legendary, dude. I yeah, man. Honestly, that video took about like four or five days to shoot. It was like, it's really like the best time of my life. So I'm doing the stream and everyone's just like, like, God's plan came out. I'm like, dude, I know. Like, I've, I've heard the song. So I watched all of these streams, and honestly, there were some pretty strange moments. They obviously made small talk, got to know each other, and did some digital butt sniffing. So how long have you been playing Fortnite or been a fan? Um, probably like for like about a month or two, maybe. But yo, I've been watching your, 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 I've been watching your shit for a minute, man. It's crazy, man. Have you seen my clips on Instagram? Right? Like, is that when you started yeah, like seeing some your, stuff? I saw your clips on Instagram, and then I, then I kind of went on YouTube and like started really like just seeing like because i think you used to play you didn't always play this right you played like players battleground unknown right? yeah yeah, so yeah. Like i played before, PUBG, yeah. yeah PUBG. yeah PUBG. yeah but we were also able to glean a few interesting tidbits of info about drake from the chat for example we found out that drake has a scuff controller and i'll be honest i didn't actually know what this was you 100 percent should look into a scuff then Basically, okay. has like it's a, it's called a scuff controller, which like it'll allow you to press have like buttons on the back, little paddles. Yeah, we should yeah, run Yeah, I have out. that actually. I have that. I just never use it, but I have that controller. Yeah. Turns out a scuff controller is a custom gaming controller for PS4 that has extra buttons on the back and will cost you over a hundred bucks. And the fact I didn't know what that was actually made me super happy because it means I'm less of a nerd than Drake. Yes! Woo! But in spite of the nerdiness factor, their stream was popping off, going so viral that Ninja thought that they were gonna break Twitch. A prospect that Drake was audibly thrilled about. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure we are about to break Twitch. Yeah, let's do it, I'm ready. But in spite of Drake's lack of excitement, they did indeed break the record for non-tournament streaming on Twitch with 635 thousand people watching. This record was previously held by unfunny Twitch streamer Dr. Disrespect, who had 388,000 people on his stream at once, and who I believe does still hold the world record for live streaming in the Cottaging League. But even beyond Twitch, the event held the top four trending topics on Twitter for Drake, Ninja, Travis Scott, who joined the stream later, and Fortnite. Ninja himself gained 90,000 subscribers from this event. And I know what you're thinking, oh, Traplor, that's nothing at all. After all, you have a whopping 210,000 subscribers on YouTube. Well, don't be fooled because that ain't shit. Twitch subscribers are completely different and each one actually represents $5 a month of revenue. So Drake helped Ninja get a tidy bag here. Hmm, maybe if I was a Twitch streamer, I wouldn't have to put so many ads on my videos. Nah, Twitch is fucking lame. Also, because of the fact that I'm not a loser incel and had never watched Ninja up until this point, I was genuinely amazed at how damn good he was at Fortnite. 
he seemed to win pretty much every single game that they played, and the 20 minutes of excruciatingly boring gameplay that I was forced to sit through was always nearly worth it for the exciting moment of bonding that would come at the moment that they won every match. Got it, baby. Yeah, Boom. there we go. Let's get it, man. Let's go, baby. I doubt that's the only time Drake's come first. As the evening went on, they played another game, and it seemed that Drake loosened his fingers as well as his lips. Firstly, getting comfortable enough to reveal what we've all been suspicious of for so long, that he's had at least one person killed via his mob-tied Toronto goons. So you only killed one guy, right? Yeah. Ninja seemingly entices Drake to enjoy some good-natured 9-11 humor. If you had to say uh, what these look like, first thing that comes to your mind. What's that? Oh, <laughs> oh man. Now we gotta knock this down. And at one point, it seems that Ninja is fanboying Drake so much that he can't help but offer to give him Sloppy Toppy. All right, that'll top you off. Yeah. But of course, they win that second game as well. Later on in the stream, Drake announces that Travis Scott is coming online. We might have to get the crazy, the crazy rap squad going tonight. I think Yadi, I think Yadi's watching. I think Travis, Travis talked about the shit. And they proceeded to play a seriously all-star game that included Drake, Ninja, Travis Scott, and even the Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, Juju Smith-Schuster. Honestly, I can't think of anybody that isn't desperate to jump on this clout bandwagon. Unfortunately, Travis Scott barely said anything, though fans were ecstatic to hear him muttering God's plan after being revived by Drake. That's me with the hands. I got you. Jimmy, climb up here. Two, one, God's plan, let's get it. Oh. Weird, I thought it was the Kardashians that revived Travis Scott's failing career. As well as Travis completely ignoring Ninja when Ninja asks if he's okay, before Drake speaks on his behalf telling Ninja that Travis is testing out his new burner. Trav, you okay? I just got a new, new burner, you know? He had to test it out. <laughs> You've been watching too much Top Boy, Drizzy. They also weirdly played another game with the founder of Mega Upload and king of internet piracy himself, Kim.com, who made like a stripper in King of Diamonds and offered Drake a slurp. I never thought I would say this, but Drake, I have a slurp for you. <laughs> oh, man. Come here, stay here. Oh, is this a guy? They're, they're... Stay on me, stay on me. Hold on. Funny, not the first time Kim.com has had his fault raided at gunpoint, but unfortunately that game ended tragically for Drake, who died whilst trying to use a med kit, whilst unfortunately trapped in a house with no doors while a storm came. I'm giving you doors, I'm giving you doors. Uh, oh, no. oh my god. That's it, dude, you're dead. <laughs> I'm trash. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> What happened? Bro, I was healed <laughs> up fully and I went for my gun. Damn, if it's not a storm trapping you, it's a French thought. So after thoroughly breaking the internet in March, a month later in April, Drake and Ninja linked up once again, this time with Drake streaming from London, where he was presumably there looking for cultures to vulture. I've got to say, these games had a slightly different tone to them. Initially, for some reason, Ninja decides to tell Drake how to do his job, suggesting that he makes songs out of Fortnite lingo rather than the broken dreams of OVO artists. You gotta put some Fortnite lingo. I in the album nah, man just someone, something it, it has to happen it's just got to be the right way I, someone's gonna do it i say when epic gives me the emote like, when epic gives me the hotline bling emote i'll do it i frankly found that a little bit rude i mean come on ninja drake doesn't come down to your basement and tell you how to jerk off and at one point drake's hotline starts blinging and ninja starts ripping into him for the ringtone dude don't tell me you have that basic ringtone <laughs> Nah, that's not me, that's someone else. Oh yeah, I see. Then in game two, Drake wagered Ninja a $5,000 donation if he won. He obviously did, and that was a weird bet to make considering the fact that I don't think we'd seen Ninja lose once up until this point. 5K don't know if you get this dub, Ninja, you hear me? I hear you. <laughs> At least that I hear you. As if I wasn't <laughs> trying hard enough. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm a man of my word, I got you. That's hey. epic. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, you're epic, man. But the one thing I found very peculiar about this appearance was how low energy Drake was compared to his last few games. I got energy, got a lot of en energy. I got to say, my initial suspicions were that he was either stoned or tired, and you can hear some suspicious bubbling noises throughout the street. Now, Drake is very well known for his love of Arabic hookah or shisha pipes. Damn, taking a bong in a bath to a new level, Drizzy. Now, these are traditionally filled with fruit-flavored tobacco, but I, I mean, f a friend of mine told me that apparently you can lace that tobacco with other substances and get gently lean throughout your smoking session. So I've been told. However, it seems like the less smoking cultured ninja mistakes the sound of Drake's hubbly bubbly pipe for somebody taking fat old bong rips and spends the majority of game one laughing at a pretty unaware Drake. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm like 90% oh, sure. Shit. Like, he, I'm someone's getting hit ripping him off. <laughs> 31, that's insane. Yeah. I'm just taking this charge. I got two seconds left. I, I can't. I'm watching over here. <laughs> Might take this chug right here. Bro, this is literally so like epic. It's hilarious. Yeah. Yo, man, your boy's going in. <laughs> no, you're going in no, right no, now. No, no, man, I meant your boy. Nah, you're going in right now. I need a fucking. And who knows, maybe it was this miscommunication that bubbled over into something more sinister. But either way, unfortunately, this bromance would not last long. In July, Ninja was asked on a stream about whether he'd be buying Drake's new merch, and in response, he pondered whether Drake would be buying his new merch. I mean, probably not, because Drake's not a 12-year-old boy. Ninja, are you buying Drake's Scorpion Jaguar's new album? You can get your name stitched on the back, also pretty dope. Um, I... You know, is he gonna buy, you know, my next line of Ninja merch? Probably not. Drake saw that I was up and coming in the gaming scene and he thought it would be a perfect way to just tap into another source of, of viewers by playing with me. He also might have just wanted a game. I'm not sure. No, Drake jumping on a trend for clout? Surely not. I refuse to believe it, I refuse. I mean, after all, OVO is where your dreams can come true. So like a salty ex-boyfriend seeing his ex on dates better than anything he could have ever offered, Drake unfollowed Ninja not long after these comments. The honeymoon was over, breaking the hearts of pasty 12-year-old boys all across the land. And to pour even more salt in the wounds, Ninja revealed that Drake never even paid him the $5,000 donation that he promised. But technically, this wasn't quite the end of the saga for Ninja at least. In November, there was a moment when Ninja thought he could get his redemption, as a player with a seemingly similar gamer tag to Drake invited him to play a game during a charity stream that Ninja was hosting on his channel. But it turns out this was just the troll who seemed hell-bent on ruining Ninja's charity stream by spewing out racial slurs. Nigger, 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 yeah. nigger, 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 nigger. Well, well, there you go, dude. Fake Drake. <laughs> what do you do about that, man? That's awkward. <laughs> I think what he meant to say was ninja, 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 ninja. Anyway, that is the story of how Drake finessed ninja for clout by playing Fortnite on Twitch. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did and you want to support this channel more, go and check out www.traplaw.com. Traplaw Season 2 merch is available, baby. We got these new, very toned down casual t-shirts. We've also got these sick Traplaw Old English hats, tees, hoodies, all that good stuff. I'm going to be doing a full length video, doing a whole lookbook, showing off all of the clothes that I've got in that season two very soon. I'm just waiting on a couple of more samples that aren't in the store yet, but once I've got samples and I know that they are the hot shit, I will be putting together an entire lookbook and adding a couple of extra prime pieces of product, which I'm very excited about. So if you want to go and check that out, traplaw.com, cop some merch, support the channel, keep subscribing. I really appreciate everybody, all the day ones that have been here. Thank you so much for making it possible. Everybody that's just joined recently, thank you too. You're in for some hot stories real soon. I'm really excited for what's going on. I'm excited for the merch. Safe. Till next time, thanks very much for watching and peace out.